Okay, so what I want to show you in this video is the integration of apps and extensions into the Chrome browser and how that can be really useful if you kind of know how that functionality works. So I'm going to start by uh, talking a little bit about TweetDeck specifically and I'll show you a couple of other examples of how some other extensions uh, integrate into the Chrome browser and how they can help with your functionality. So just for an example, I have Diane Ravitch's blog, which I was reading earlier today about test scores or creativity. And let's say, for example, I want to share that with TweetDeck. Well, I have the TweetDeck app, uh, but I also have the extension. Now, extensions, as I pointed out in an earlier video, are all these uh, different little uh, icons that you see up here. These are all extensions. Um, but there are some extensions that are running in the background that don't appear here that I don't need to do anything to really activate. Um, so an extension is really something that works within that particular uh, browser window or on that tab. It works fluidly with that particular page. If we're talking about an app, that's something separate where when I launch an app, it actually opens up a new tab. So for instance, here's the TweetDeck app. And so I'm, I'm filling up an entire browser screen using that app. If I would like to post to Twitter, you know, this particular blog post, I would have a couple of different options. I could you know, copy and paste the URL, go to the TweetDeck app, open a new Twitter post, and then paste that in and add whatever I wanted. And you see, really all it did was just paste in the URL. I would have to explain what that uh, particular post was about in Twitter. The integration piece, which is nice, if I just, you know, if you're on a PC, you would right click, or if you're on a Chromebook or MacBook, you would just double click and get your options here. And you see, I have some extra options than you would normally have on a different browser. These are different uh, extensions that I have that allow me to do some things with this particular page without leaving the page. So you see, if we're talking about TweetDeck here, share page with TweetDeck. So again, just anywhere on the page, if I just double click and then choose that option, you'll see it goes instantly to TweetDeck and it completes both the URL and it gives me the title of the blog post and whose blog it is, so I'm giving credit. And then from there, I could just add any hashtags I wanted to. So by adding those hashtags, and then if I just click Tweet, and that's updating that post right there. So I didn't have to copy and paste and add the title and the blog, um, any of those things that was done automatically with that integration here. You know, another example of how that integration is nice is Digo. And if you don't use Digo, it's a great social bookmarking application that's free. It's really great to use in the classroom as well. Um, so this is the Digo extension right here, this blue D. So if I'm on a web page that I want to bookmark, because Digo is all about social bookmarking. So now my bookmarks are available anywhere and I can also share them with people in groups and as lists. So maybe I have uh, an administrative group that I've started on Digo and I want to share this particular site with them in that group. So all I need to do is hit the extension and it will allow me, it'll drop down this little, uh, these, these options in this window. And if I want to bookmark that, so it's bookmarking the URL it's, all, it's creating a title. Maybe I want to take off that it's Diane Ravitch's blog, but I actually want to keep that in. I can mark it as read later, so it's something that's going to hold in a file for me to read later. And then I can add it to a list. So maybe this one I want to add to our LHS digital evolution list, and then I can share it to my group. So I want to share this to my educators group. And then it gives me also a lot of suggested tags. Tags I used last time, recommended ones. So this one has to do with test scores and creativity. Um, also, maybe I want to add it to administrators, all teachers, edu bloggers, so it'll get tagged in various places. And then I hit save, and I know now if I navigate back to this particular website. So let's say I just refresh, I'm navigating back to this particular web page, and I know that I've already bookmarked this because you see the little red bookmark on the Digo icon. So I know I've done that before. So another great piece of integration with uh, Digo is in your actual searches that you perform. So if I search EdCamp, I know that I've, I've looked at EdCamp a lot of different times. And instead of looking through all the search results, what uh, Google will do and the Chrome browser will do, since I've added in Digo as an extension, it will actually show me the different items that are in my Digo library that I have already bookmarked. So instead of going through all of the different search results in Google, I'm first reminded, hey, you know, you've already bookmarked 19 different items. They're in your Deagle library. And if I click here, it will take me directly to my Deagle library and those specific items that I've already bookmarked. 
So that, that's really a nice feature, a nice piece of integration, because sometimes you'll just forget that you bookmark things already, and this is reminding you at, at every search page. And if there are no matches in your Deagle library, it'll say there are no matches in your Deagle library, and then you need to look further at the, the Google search results. So that's a, a really nice piece of, of functionality. Uh, the last one I want to show, just as a quick, very simple one, is also kind of like the, the TweetDeck feature I showed earlier, but it's just send from Gmail. And this is an extension, and again, all extensions and apps, you just go to the Chrome Web Store, and you can download those. This one is send from Gmail, so if I just click on this, if I want to email this to maybe my administrative group here at school, I just click on that button, and it will bring up a new little window, and all I need to do is just to address it. So maybe I want to send this to our administrative group at Leiden and it has the URL and again it, it already puts in the subject as this is a, a post from Diane Ravitch's blog and I can email that and it says that my message was sent and if I want to view my sent message I can. So again those are just some quick ways that you can use the integration in Chrome to help your functionality and make things a little bit smoother for you as you're browsing the internet. Thank you.